G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a frag grenade. Yep, and this is a furious assault rifle with bullets exploding for area damage and 90% reduced weight major and minor legendary effects, respectively. So I don't mind the wayless legendary effect on 3-star weapons, because it's a great way just to store them away if you don't feel like using them or would like to hold onto them, but don't want them to take up a whole lot of weight. Unfortunately for rifles in this game, the... 90% reduced weight is a little bit squandered, and the reason that is is because all of these attachments that you see attach to this thing add a little bit of weight to the weapon for balance reasons, obviously. That makes a bit of sense, I suppose. And what that does, it kind of overrides the 90% um, reduced weight. If I was running this all standard parts, I would have that 90% reduced weight. But we're at sitting at 15.6 now, which is like... Four or five pounds lower than what a um, regular unweighless thing would weigh. So, you know, five pounds is five pounds, but I feel like we could probably do a little bit better than that. Maybe a bit of perception would help, but I'm not going to say no to that. So, with a powerful auto receiver, could be a little bit better with Prime, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's only giving us a little bit more damage. So, I think the powerful auto receiver, you know, with the accessibility of five, um, 5.56 oh, 5 bullets, yeah, that's fine. Furious Explosive Legendary Effect. We can actually put that under a little bit of a microscope because uh, rumor has it that, that those two cancel each other out. I mean, I've dispelled that. You'll obviously get the explosive bullets, but we'll have to see if Furious can pull its old, old goddamn weight this time, right? 44 damage. Let's go ahead and upgrade to that. So we've got Tank Killer on. We're not going to be using Ground Pounder because this thing reloads very, very quickly. And the hip fire is supported by the true barrel and true stock. Very good stuff. So we'll just chuck on three of those commando perks and of course bloody mess and since this thing is explosive of course we'll be chucking on the demo expert perk in fact it is during the day now so we can pull that and probably chuck on let's see we've got three ranks of sneak already just a bit of action girl then why don't we so we get 90 damage out of this thing which is pretty damn solid but compared to a non-explosive uh bloodied handmaid, which uh, is not going to get any damage increases from our current state. We're not at, we're at full health at this point. Yeah, we're in the... It's actually out-damaging our thing. It's not explosive, so... Yeah, assault rifles are a little bit, um... Yeah, they're not as strong as handmaids, but they are a lot more accessible. So if you're looking for a 5.56 bidding thing, you can easily find lots of uh, these bad boys around on Super Mutants to, you know loot and then scrap for parts so it's a good starter weapon but you eventually kind of want to move on to handmaids but enough of this weapon balance talking nonsense let's go and shoot shit with it Alrighty, so here we are outside of Muti's Plaza. Here's our assault rifle that big old drum only giving us 25 bullets because balance I guess here are my things the chameleon it starts with C so it's up here and my buffs are over here. Or oh, we even get a little bit more luck because I ate a Scorch Beast Slipper. Nice. Alrighty, so how are we going to do this? Probably just, you know, Stealth Commando it. That seems to work out pretty well. Okay, no crit spam. I'm going to find out whether this thing can actually work with our uh, Furious. So, if you were just to stand still, my friend. Friend? Man? Uh-huh. Okay. Looks like, to me, the uh, damage is improving per shot. Hmm. Might have to put that under the microscope a bit more. But now we are in the old danger. Let's not get shot so we get adrenal reaction increasing the damage. Obviously, my adrenaline is going up after every kill, so it's getting harder and harder to tell. But uh, we'll just uh, give it another go. Okay, at this point, we're hitting over half the health, so, you know, we've rendered the experiment pointless for now. But as you can tell, when I've actually start using this thing and holding down the trigger, it actually goes pretty well. So, with all of that, 147 damage as compared to the 150, maybe a, a one rank of that bloodied thing going into that. But, yeah, pretty solid. And like I said before, the reload is good on this thing, and the hip fire just as good, despite us, you know, not having ground pounder. So, you know, you don't have to actually use ground pounder for this, which means tank killer can allow you to get extra armor penetration. Oi, look at this bastard. Cheeky fucker thought he could ambush me. Well, the ambush would have gone very well if my character just couldn't turn invisible, at least to these super mutants. I think, th okay, apparently there were they're going around the corner because that super mutant there isn't cool enough to join their little posse. But they're all dead now, so, you know, they can dispute that shit in hell. Also, that nuke is, um, hitting 
uh, the the ghouls that burrow zone. I think everything's dead. Okay, we can move inside now. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Thanks, escape artist. All right. So what could I talk about? Because I'm pretty sure we know exactly what's going to happen here. I'm just going to slaughter every single one of these muties in just a couple of shots. I can talk at length about how good the stealth commando build is because, you know, you're seeing why. That doggo just died of shock, apparently. Sometimes they do that. They're a bit odd. Oh, that was a nice T-pose there, Mr. Super Mutant. Okay, whatever works for you, man. He's dead now, so he's just going to join the pile of Super Mutants that I've sent to hell. Come on, escape artist. Do your thing. Ooh, experiencing a little bit of lag at this point. Also, be sure to actually get those shots on target. That'll actually increase your damage very much. Like, if I was to shoot at their legs or something and just bounce splash damage off the ground, you'll see how little damage this thing actually does. See, there's another dead doggo. See, direct hits. You know, despite it being an explosive weapon, direct hits are still kind of what you want. And if anything, the explosive legendary effect is good for just clearing out trash mobs, I suppose. And that's kind of it. Um, you still want to use... Maybe the explosive legendary effect is good for just getting a whole bunch of damage on top of what you would get without it. But, you know, other than that, it's not actually all that impressive in terms of its uh, splash damage anymore. When it comes to weapons that fire a lot of projectiles very quickly, though... Um, that, you can see that that doesn't matter because you're just putting so much bullets, so much damage out there that it just ends up just slaughtering anything. So you could get away with this sort of, um, inaccuracy if you're using a minigun, but not really for a weapon like this. I feel like I've missed a dude, but whatever. You know what, we'll, we'll just keep on going. If, if he happens to show up a little bit later, I'll just cut straight to him killing. And here we're going to use a little bit of cheeky gun foo, as they're all sort of uh, in. Also, another good thing is you can actually get a little bit of damage from their friends if they're standing in close like that, just like you saw just now. It looks like I've lured the uh, boss out of the room too, so that was nice. I think something's gone wrong with the um, detection here, so you know, that's cool. Um, they seem just to be shooting blindly, even though I'm in caution. Usually they wouldn't do that, and it's not like Bethesda would pull a secret patch that would change all the AI on it honest would they? Also wearing the poodle skirt again because I, don't, I reckon that goes alright on winter. Can't really see it most of the time because I am invisible but still alright back in the caution make sure I've cleared out here yes we have and if you're actually trying to do this tactically and like entering rooms how <laughs> your actual soldiers do where they sort of clear out the room maybe I don't know like, you'd, you'd look at gameplay of this and think, what the fuck, wouldn't you? Oh well, it's a video game. We can have our invincible, in invisible people that just come back if they die like nothing ever happens. See, this arsehole's got his weapon drawn. I don't know what his deal is. I've kind of forgotten about testing the Furious. Don't worry, that'll come later. We've got Swan. We'll shoot him slowly and just see what becomes of that. But I'm pretty sure I got it to work before. Um, so yeah, we'll actually have a better look at that with something with a bigger health bar. For consistency's sake, I won't crit spam, I'll just sneak and do the damage, so that way if there is a little bit of extra damage, it'll be easier to see if it's, you know, more. Or I could just sit in danger, but honestly, I'm, I'm all about the killing speed, because honestly, I think I'm out of stim packs on this character. I've got like seven supers because I don't ever use those, they're like a last resort thing, which like, I never use. I mean, the only time where I actually have used them was when <laughs> a born survivor procs and gives me a refill and has no regular stim packs to do it with, but still. I heard a sledgehammer whacking sound, that's odd. Alright, I think we're pretty much done here. I think the weapon kind of speaks for itself because I'm barely breaking a sweat whilst killing all of these guys, and you know, I probably could have done this without taking a hit, but I was a little bit sloppy there, and the weapon was able to, you know, get me out of pretty tough situations, as well as the build. We can't have the weapon, you know, on a pedestal here. Escape Artist does half of the work when it comes to being a stealth commander. 
Oh, we're on boys second try and they're here. Okay, crowd control situation, take two. And it's basically going to go down like this. I'm just going to go around popping them one at a time, although I didn't pop that one. So now the plan is in ruins and now I have to, you know, gather them through here. See if we can pull ourselves through this with the assault rifle. Obviously, when I uh, see them come around the corner, I'm going to... Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Okay, you just break the laws of physics and... Wow, I launched that one straight into the into the pram you know there's a saying it's about a dingo and they stole the baby but apparently that ghoul was um he was keen to steal the baby and that is what i call a pretty uh, ordinary drop to be honest oh come on can we have at least a little bit of a ghoul response here to make it seem like that i'm trying to you know record some good gameplay here oh here we go it is a Troubleshooters and fire rate. No, it's too heavy. Hello, fat ass. Now you're dead. I launched you into. <laughs> I like how explosive guns sort of ragdolls, and no, I didn't need to see a ghoul twerking today. That is something that I could have done without. Thanks, Todd. Alright, let's go top side and see what kind of trouble we can get into here. And by trouble, it means I'm just gonna stay invisible. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that woke you up, mate, didn't it? Oh, it's another three-star. It's it's a lucky run here. I don't know what's going on, but I don't usually get two three-stars in a row. Let's see if the game can give me a good drop here. Please don't be a broadsider. Please don't be a broadsider. It is a fucking one-star cloaking. Well, at least it wasn't a broadsider, right? All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a big fight here. Did I wake those ghouls up? They were just sort of standing there without any purpose, and that right there is why you don't need ground pounder with this, because that hip fight accuracy is just too good. Also, explosive can make things stagger too. Just to show you what this thing is like, also, um, again, alright, we've already seen this thing's damage, haven't we? I was gonna show you what this thing is like with ground pounder along with it, because it's pretty fucking dirty. Let me just, uh... We'll pull Tank Killer for just one second. Going over to Ground Pounder. Look how accurate that is. That's almost as accurate as what you'd find a... Uh, what's it? A lever gun to be? Which is pretty damn good. Pinpoint. You have to... You just hip fire this thing. So, you know, if you wanted to use a scope, use this thing at long range. You can probably just get away with, you know, using Ground Pounder. They just hip fire anything too close. But when things are a little bit further out, that's when you can aim down sights. So, you know, that's something you can do. Wouldn't recommend it because it does lower your VATS, um, or it does increase your VATS AP usage per shot. But, you know, if you want to snipe with it, sure. And it appears that Swan, not wanting to be tested with this thing with the Furious Effect, has not spawned. Or oh, so we thought. Apparently, at um, this particular time of night, uh, about 2am, 2, 2 quarter to 2, he likes to go for his evening stroll. So, we'll just wait for him to get in a little bit closer. Let's not take any unnecessary rads here, because we don't want to push up any adrenal reaction. Everybody take note of that health bar. We shall begin the test. Yeah, I couldn't see a difference there. Interestingly, there was no, there was none of that little um, health effect thing where it actually shows you how much damage you do, like in a single strike. So I don't know. That's kind of weird. I had it working before. I should have recorded it, but I was shooting this random ass super mutant, and it was working. I was like, "Well, fuck, I might actually work." But apparently, no. The game is keen to disprove me. Okay, so don't try this at home, children, but I'm going into this completely unspecked, and that is because I want to kick this Mylurk's ass and just see. See, that looked like it worked, right? Maybe, uh, did I get a critical on that second shot? I wasn't really watching. Alright, so we'll find out what else is around here. We've got uh, just a deep king. Hmm. Okay, old mate queen is out already. Uh, apparently, there's like another civil war going on, I th I think. Wait, what are they attacking? Wait, what the fuck is your problem? Okay, I don't even know, but... You know, you don't actually have to, you know, spec into weapons to be good with them when you're stealth commando, because you just get those... Those epic fucking 
epic. Oh god. Those sneak attack criticals, which do quite a lot of damage. See, for a little bit there, the uh, little damage bar, the effect of that didn't show up, which was odd. Ooh, I just got fucking stealth froggy dude there. Stealth lizarded. Okay, queen, I think you're the last one left. Just hold still for a second, my good ma'am. Go for a crit span. Hmm, okay, maybe in that's the thing doesn't show up. Come back here. Where if Oh, it's one of those fleeing queens. It's one of these special types. Okay, it's really hard to test when I can't get good sneak attack criticals on you. Fuck you, I'm specking into it again. You just wait. Prepare to feel the pain of a thousand assault rifles. Except that you don't because you're just immune to my sneak attack criticals because you're in a fleeing phase. Oh my god. Alright, I'll I got you now, horse face. Yeah. Cop that. Alright. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. I don't like it when my alert queens decide to, you know, be fucking cowards, so we'll find another one. I think I know another spawn. Okay, so this is another potential place for a My Alert Queen to spawn. It's a uh, Max Farm, so you know, Old McDonald had a farm, and on this farm he had a giant ass fly and a, and a wasp. So they're dead. Throw a grenade in, see if we can't summon a queen. There she is, good girl. All right, this time I've pulled um, fuck off. I'm not opening that goddamn perk pack. I've pulled a uh, tank killer, so we'll see if. Excess armor penetration seems to affect this thing's damage. Hang on, it's strafing. This would imply that she's under some sort of attack from something. No, she's not. She's just overreacting. Eh, it doesn't look like it's doing a lot, does it? No, that's unfortunate. Well, at least, I, I fucking swear I had it working before. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe the armor penetration, because, like, you saw the video that I did the other day with the uh, lever gun, where I could actually make armor piercing, you know, happen with explosive. But, um, hang on, there's another fly over there. i got to kick his ass. And a rad roach, the most dangerous enemy of all. But, yeah, I, maybe the armor penetration, how it gives you, like, a little bit of extra damage when it's done calculating the damage resistance, because, I don't know, lag in this game. That's, that's really weird. Okay, maybe it is a write-off. Maybe I'm just going mad. But let, let's just follow to a monster. We'll follow to a monster next time, alright? Okay, we've got a level 65 Scorch Beast, but that's okay because I'm going to kill him just as fast as level 80 Scorch Beast. So first of all, we'll gather some adrenaline by killing his minions. That seems to work out well. We'll find out where the rest of these guys are. Just start sniping away. Wow, I can't believe I hit those four shots in a row. I'm just some sort of sniper who cannot ever miss. Like the American Sniper Man. Did he ever miss a shot? Or oh, dead shot. Except for that time when he was shooting at Harley Quinn because of plot convenience. Hold up, where'd the bat go? Okay, he's, he's still going around. He has got no idea, so let's just lure him a little bit closer. Don't have Tormentor, that could be a nice thing to use, but honestly, you don't need it. Oh, he's landed anyway, he's being courteous. Also, this thing's nearly fucked. How? It was going so well before. Well, I'm glad we could kill the Scorch Beast before this thing was keen to kill itself. <laughs> See, yeah, full auto, you kill stuff real fast. Furious Explosive Combo. Good stuff. Is that missile launcher worth a lot? Not really. Um, I think I'm going to leave that. I'll take your brain out, though. Alrighty. So, there you have it. The Furious Explosive Assault Rifle. Now, a while ago, I did, I think, a Suppressor's Explosive. And I, I um, promised to the dude that I would give it to him. Then I ended up selling it or doing some stupid shit. You know who you are. I owe you an Explosive Assault Rifle. Please step forward in Discord so I know it's actually you. And, you know, you will see... 
I f sorry, I forgot who you were. It's been a while, but yes, this assault rifle has your name on it. So if you're watching in this far, yeah, you can grab this weapon. If he doesn't own up to it, I'm probably keen to let this thing go. It's a good weapon, but next to my handmaids, it's it's no there's no competition. The handmaids just simply outperform this thing. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys.